Okay. Hopefully that'll work. So now he'll be my tank, basically, guys. That will come in handy. So now I do have a natural support. So he's a bear, and he will help me as a second ally. As you can see, though, the tactics in this game are pretty damn advanced. Which I like about this game. I always like that. Really. Where's my tank? Oh, he's helping already. Okay. Boom! Damn, he's powerful. Now, if he had some better, like, tank moves, he'd be a better tank. And I have a lot of fucking, um, thingies here. Alright, so where are we going? We're going back, right? I think we are. Rage Demon. Yeah, we're... Oh, boy. Rage Demon. That sounds great. This is kind of more straightforward than the Elven one. The Elven one had a really good, like, dark story to it, but... Kind of got me lost at some points. But this is, like, straightforward, even though it has some very witty kind of talking. Oh god, this looks like the place of a rage demon. I'm guessing this is what I have to kill. Judging by all the fire. Yep. Hello there, demon. And so it comes to me at last. Soon I shall Damn, you're see loud. the land of the living with your eyes, creature. You shall be mine, body and soul. <laughs> if, if they come and get me if you can, I demon. shall. So this creature is your offering, Mouse. Another plaything as per our arrangement. <laughs> You're I'm kidding me! You anything. I don't have to help you anymore. Oh. And after all the oh, so he's not betraying me. Good. Now suddenly the mouse has changed the rules. I'm not a mouse now, and soon I won't have to hide. I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. Help me out here, mouse. Thank you. I'll take out the ads. A train bolt! Attack! There we go. few more ads. Come on, Mouse, you got this. And I actually leveled up. We killed the demon! Holy crap! You did it. You actually did it. When you came, I hoped that maybe you might Thank you. be able to... But I never really thought any of you were worthy. Damn, man. Damn, first I hear that you betray me. Now... <laughs> what did you do to the others? What were their names? They were not as promising as you. It was a long time ago. Uh, I don't remember their names. I don't even remember my own name. It's the Fade, and the Templars killing me. Like they tried with you. <sighs> the thing is... I don't blame him. I get he just wanted to survive. I mean, I probably would not have personally done it. I would have taken the death. But then again, I'm saying that when it hasn't even happened to me yet. It's one of these. It's one of those things in human nature that you can say anything, but when it actually happens, it's really hard to say what you'll do. I personally would believe I would not do what this guy did, but I can understand it. It's just like prison, essentially. Like, what are you gonna do? Like, you know. I understand necessity. You what now? You defeated a demon. You completed your test. With time, you will be a master enchanter with no equal. And maybe there's hope in that for someone Yay. as small and as forgotten as me. If you want to help, there may be a way for me to leave sure. here to get a foothold outside. You just need to want to let me in. Just let you in. Wait a minute. Is this guy really a demon? I'm starting to fit the demon what? was my test. What do you? Of course it was. What else is here that could harm an apprentice of your potential? <laughs> you are a smart one. Simple killing is uh -huh. the job. I knew it. 
You bastard! Conceptions, careless trust, pride. Holy fuck! Keep your wits about you, mage. True tests never end. I've always been a very questionable, like, very questionable of people when it comes to trust. I guess for once that paid off. I was not going to let some person inside me. Are you alright? Say something, please. I don't know this guy. I guess I'll do that. Oh, I'm glad you're alright. They carried you in this morning. I didn't even realize you'd been gone all night. I've heard about apprentices who never come back from Harrowings. Is it really that dangerous? What was it like? Oh boy. It was harrowing. Uh, it was harrowing. Is that why they don't tell us what it's about? I know I'm not supposed to know, but we're yeah. friends. Just a little hint and I'll stop asking, I promise. I'm the kind of person who, honest to God, doesn't have a problem telling people shit. Really? That's it? Oh, hell no. That makes sense. They want to see if you there can you resist the demon and stop yourself from becoming an abomination. And now you get to move to the nice mages Pretty much. upstairs. I'm stuck here and I don't know when they'll call me for my harrowing. Uh, any day now, actually. I've Probably. I've been here longer than you have. Sometimes I think they just don't want to test me. Hmm. I wouldn't say that. What would I say? What are you talking about, Charlie? Tranquil Charlie? never go through a harrowing. Oh, you boy. The harrowing, the right of I know the tranquil. Or you die. That's what happens. Here, I'll just... I know what they are, but for your sake, I'm going to explain the right of tranquility to you You've guys. You've seen the tranquil around the tower. Like a Wayne who runs the stock room. He's so cold. No, not even cold. There's just... Nothing in him. It's like he's dead, but still walking. His voice, his eyes, are lifeless. Basically, they become emotionless husks. So you can become an emotionless husk. Or you can become a mage with your emotions and whatnot. So yeah, I'll keep telling He's you more. Made tranquil. Because I, I already know, know those, how they but. do it exactly, but you're cut off from the fade. It takes away your magic abilities, along with your dreams and emotions. There you go. How awful. Apprentices can ask to be made tranquil if they fear the harrowing, but the circle also forces tranquility yes. on those they feel are weak. And sometimes they force it upon apprentices yeah. they think might be too dangerous as mages. I shouldn't waste your time with this. I was supposed to tell you to see Irving as soon as you woke up. Hmm. What for? You didn't tell me. About the harrowing, I'd guess, but you'd never know with Irving. You'd better not keep him waiting. We can speak later. All right. A mage in the circle. Why do you care? Are you best friends now? I'm just curious. That Templar, Cullen, said it was the quickest, cleanest harrowing he'd ever seen. He must be so talented. Someone sounds jealous. I just know I'll be terrified when my time I hope comes. they're not talking about me. Like Wendell was. He'd throw up every day for the next week just thinking about it. Great. Well, I leveled, so now I can show you how the leveling system works. It's pretty straightforward. You just put your stats in, and then at a certain level, I believe, I believe you get it when you're level 20, but I could be wrong on that. You get an ability. Now, if I remember, you can have two, but if I'm wrong, I might not get one. I'm going to probably look that up off session, because I honestly forget, because, um... It's hard to say what I want to be, because Shapeshifter is very sagey. Spirit Healer, I don't want to be a healer. And then Arcane Warrior is basically 
ancient elf stuff, and they're basically kind of like my character. Like, they are mages, but they fight with melee too. I think it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. But I want to be a blood mage at this guy, because he's like, they're like the best at like ranged attacks and whatnot. So we'll be a blood mage. Basically the darkest forms of magic you can get. So this Zell is going to be dark as fuck. <laughs> Alright, so, so far it seems our willpower has never really run us out, so let's just put a bond like that, like that, yeah, that's good. A two point difference, shouldn't be too bad. Now, I need 25 points in magic, so, and once we get that, I can activate and use Cone of Cold. So now, let's use Ice, and like I said, we'll use, actually no, let's use, as I explained, Zell can use uh, healing, so let's start getting healing type moves. To heal myself. Now, the whole thing is... Yeah, you get to choose them in this game, too. It's much, like, simpler. It's really... Very much like a, um... I don't know what you call this game. Like, kind of like a turn-based RPG. Kind of like Pokemon, but not Pokemon. Because, you know... It's not Pokemon at all. But you get what I mean. Like, turn-based. Kind of like Final Fantasy as well, but, like, 3D. And I think if you don't make an attack after a while, they will attack you. So, it's normally turn-based, unless you're stupid. But then, again, I think I could be wrong on that. I think the game just honestly pauses if you don't do anything. Actually, no, that's not true, because if you run away, they'll attack you still, so. It's turn-based, but it's, like, hybrid turn-based. don't know. Gregor hasn't said anything yet. And shh, we're on duty. Eh, yeah, there's no one here. Someone's always watching. I'm right here. I swear, it's like the walls have eyes. I'm right here, guys. Hi. Shh. I swear to God, it's like real life. I'm just like standing in front of people, and they're just like, Are you daft? <laughs> "Am I daft? I don't know. Am I daft?" All right, there we go. There we go. There's some like chess there. I would love to play that in this. Chess is a fun little game if you know how to play, of course. Uh, how many potions do I have? I have nine potions. I haven't used a single one. I guess that's what I get for playing casual. All right, where do I go? I'm not lost, guys. I just want to check. I believe... Where does it say they go on the quest log, actually? We can read that. Wait, do we have two? No, this is the downloadable content. We can do that another time. See what Irving wants... Another circle apprentice. It doesn't say where he is. I'm guessing he'd be at the top of the floor, but I'm going to go check the basement because I like to check things in games. Especially in RPGs. I never really like to skip things. It's just how I am. So this is going to be a long let's play, that means, guys. So I'm going to do every possible um, side quest, secondary content, whatever you want to call it, that I can. So. I so. And this is locked, so I guess we're not supposed to be down here. Alright, then. Alright. There we go. That's the area. Let's see. Healing will be definitely helpful for myself and others, but mainly myself, because I'm not going to be a healer. It'll just be like my second thing. I forget what Valium's for. I think it's for one of the professions. I believe rune crafting or something, but I don't know if that's a thing in this. I forget. Keep the flames steady. We don't want it sputtering and leaping about. That's what causes most of the injuries. Injuries? But, but, but... Steady. It reacts to your emotions. If you panic, it will... No, no, no. Breathe. Oh, Jesus. You know, in my experience, Flint and Tinder works just as well. Maybe we should start with that. <laughs> nice. Alright, well... He's obviously new to this thing, a little bit. Magic must serve man, and not rule over him. Very good. And what do you think that means? Can anyone tell me? Hey. No. Misogyny. Not what it means. <laughs> it means that magic should be used to help people, but we can't use our magic to to force people to do what we want. That's right. We should not abuse Correct. The good boy. Maker has given us. I do agree with that. I kind of disapprove of these things that the Chantry is doing, but if if the mages
can't, you know, if they abuse their power, they kind of deserve what they get. I'm sorry. You and I can do that. Okay. If I had put all my power behind that spell, you would have been obliterated. I am not your enemy. Fear is your enemy. It is a weakness that can be exploited. Face a demon with your will wavering, so it would consume. No. Again. Sometimes audio like glitches a little bit. Did that work? Oh, I guess that's over. Okay. Alright, well, I think we're finally going up. No, not quite yet. Soon, I'm guessing. I Hello, can't sir. wait for my harrowing. Great. Alright, here we go. I believe the second, or the first enchanter should be up here. Hopefully! I'd like to move on. This place is cool and all, but... I think the only way to get full mana back and that kind of stuff is to, like, drink a potion. If I remember correctly. Ooh, what was that? Oh, it's just a door thing. Hello. To the oh, this is him. Room of magical items. My name is Owen. This is the tranquil. How may I assist you? Are you really a, tra a tranquil mage? I voluntarily submitted to the right of tranquility. I was unwilling to undergo the harrowing. I find this state agreeable. Don't you think that this is... Hang on. You actually light beam this I way? I see the world with clarity. I remember the days when my mind was filled with inconvenient and seething emotions. Now things are simple. I should Very well. I don't want to hear anymore. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good this day. is the tranquil area. Good day. Is there something you need? You must speak Good to day to you. This girl doesn't really sound tranquil. I shall be making more potions to send to the mages at Ostagar. Doesn't really sound emotionless. I think they messed up that voice there a little bit. Senior Enchanter. Hello there, sir. Oh, uh, hello. I don't believe we've met. Are you new to the circle? You might remember me as an apprentice. I'm sorry. There are so many of you, and I get confused. Not to mention uh -huh. these old eyes are starting to go. Everybody makes mistakes. I'm used to this at school. <laughs> You're too kind. I'm old and about to fall apart. Nothing in the world can fix that. Mm. Anyway, did you say so? Did you need something? Just wanted to talk. I'm not good at talking. Too much chatter makes my head throb. Don't you have lessons to get to? Shoo! Nice. Rude. <laughs> anyway. Oh, uh, let's see what we got here. Bookcases. Lore. Lore everywhere. Lore. What do you mean of lore? Anyway. I kind of like this fucking outfit here. Purple and, like, bluish. Like I said, purple's my favorite color. I think someone's here to speak to you, Senior Torren. Am I? I don't think I am. Uh, hi! Hello. Congratulations on your harrowing last night. Good work. What were you talking about earlier? Oh, the Fraternities of the Enchanters. You probably haven't heard of them. It's Excuse best me? not to get tangled up in circle politics. More trouble than it's worth, really. Mm. Tell me about them. Uh, oh, they're found in all circles throughout Thedas. Groups of enchanters who hold similar viewpoints, who band together to make their voices heard. The most influential fraternity are the Equitarians. Like the political party. They are moderates and believe in a code of conduct that all majors should adhere to. Then there are the Chantry apologists, <laughs> the loyalists. The Chantry says something and they follow it to the letter. The Lucrosians just want to Stupid. make money. 
and the isolationists would like us all Evil. to be hermits and live on an island. Then, of course, there are the libertarians. They want more power for the circle, more autonomy. I'd probably be in, in between the libertarians or the arg your things, the things of the A. Which do you belong to? <laughs> well, if I had to, I'd say I was an equitarian. But I ducked out of the fray a long time ago. Most of the senior enchanters yeah, equitarian. are equitarians. Irving, Wynne, Sweeney. Ulrich's a libertarian and a loud one at that. Ah, uh, mages have enough opposition <laughs> from the outside without tearing our circles apart with infighting. But what can you do? Giving up definitely doesn't help anyone. An idealist, I see. Well, if you're going to change the world, you should get started immediately. Lots of world to cover. Very true. Hello. Were you Hello looking there, for something? Nah, nothing. Sounds like he's there for just essentially the same thing he is. Alright, well I just learned about the fraternities. Kind of a weird name to call them, but whatever. Sounds more like a political party than anything. <laughs>